Hi, I'm Jenna, also known as Retro Lemon, and I believe this is episode 163. <laughs> um, sorry for a break last week. Um, life has just got so crazy. It's been absolutely hectic, and um, last Sunday I had the opportunity to spend the day with my grandpa, driving him around places, and I totally took advantage of that. I had great quality time. Um, he's one of my favorite people. He's a man of few words, so I do most of the talking. Um, but we had a great time, so I decided, you know what, it's all about family right now, and, um, you know, he's getting up there, not getting around so smooth these days, so given the opportunity to be his chauffeur for the afternoon, I had so much fun. It was just the best day, and, uh, I really don't get a chance to record through the week, so it is what it is. Um, I can't say that with the weather getting better... And I'm trying to find balance, which has been my whole thing for this year. Um, that there might not be an episode here or there. So if I miss a week, don't be alarmed. Um, but I'm I'm not gonna let it go more than two weeks. But I just gotta do what I gotta do. And like I said, I, it was great time. So um, I wouldn't have told him no for the world. So really quick, um, knit along. We have our under the sea knit along, knit along going on. I think there's like five or six different patterns you can pick from. I think six. Does that sound right? Is it? I don't know. Five or six. There's a list of them in um, the group Retro Lemon Studio. Uh, so the finished object thread it lists all the patterns, has links to them. You can knit any of those, as many of those as you want. You can knit all of them. You can knit ten of the same one. Doesn't matter to me. So I have just two sitting here because I thought, well, we won't go through them all, but there's Susan the Social Crab. So fun. And Molly the Traveling Turtle. So this is an ongoing knit along, so it's going to go on for three months, but we're going to pick prizes every month. So for April, you're giving away two skeins of Knit Picks Essential, um, which I think is now is just Stroll Multi. Anyways, in the gesture color way, because I thought, oh, it's some green and some pink and some blue, kind of springy, like flowers coming up. Super cute. So you can knit yourself a pair of socks. Or make mini critters. Hey, that works too. Because you can use any yarn you want for your knit along. You can use fingering weight, bulky, anywhere in between. Fine with me. I don't care. You just have to knit the pad. Um, finished objects. I have one. I do. It's not blocked, but it's done. It's off the needles. I finished my star shower in 716 knits, 716 sock. And I feel an attack of dumb blonde coming. So it needs to be all blocked. It needs to be all to really open up. But I'm so excited to have it done. Um, it was a fun knit. Um, no complaints with it. Pattern was well, well uh, written. Um, I can't wait to try it and wear it. It's actually been really warm. I actually had to put on a long sleeve shirt. It's getting a little chilly out. I do have a window open and it's starting to sprinkle, so you might hear a little rain in the background. But it's too nice today to not have the windows open. So kind of stretch it out. It'll be so much better when it's blocked. So when it's blocked and it's all laying nice, you just put it over your head, like so. And it'll hang. Not too bad unblocked, but I mean, can't see all those pretty details. And then I guess you can pull it over your shoulders. I have not tried this on yet. So if I have technical difficulties, I guess you can pull it down over your shoulders. It'll work better blocked, but I don't think I would ever wear it like that. I, I will probably always wear it just kind of laying, laying down. So that is my goal this week is to get it blocked. So you might see it again next week when it's really blocked and pretty just for a minute because I'll be all excited. So this is the main thing I worked on. Um, it called for 400 yards and I still had a nice size little ball left over. I mean granted I didn't gauge. I mean it's an accessory and I'm going to block it. So I'm like well normally my gauge is not off too far if it is off. So but I just love these colors so it's like um, blues and greens and aquas and teals, all my favorites. Just needed a little orange in there, but, you know. <laughs> no, I love it. Love this colorway. I wanted to make something fun with it. I knew I didn't want it to be socks, just because 
they're colors that look well, look nice on me and would work well with my wardrobe. So, very excited about it. Really can't wait to get it blocked. But I had just gotten it off the needles. So, I was so excited. And it wasn't that it was that long of a project. Ooh, excuse me. It's just that I don't have that much time. So, exciting. So then the only work in progress that I have this week, because it's the only other thing I worked on, are my socks. So I am knitting them kind of two at a time, but on double points. So I go back and forth on them. Cuff on one, cuff on the other. Right now I'm knitting the leg on one, I'll knit up the leg on the other. That way I never get second so sock syndrome. So this one's almost caught up with this one. It's getting there. So I love these colors. It's just, it's very springy to me. Bright, beautiful colors. So it is opal yarn from the Potpourri collection. It is the Paradise colorway. I am knitting Afterthought heel socks. I am using Laura Linneman's Afterthought heel sock pattern, slightly modified. It's a free pattern. Um, it calls for knitting on size one needles. I use size twos. And then I think it has 56 and 64 a stitch counts for like a smaller and a larger pair. I go in the middle, I go 60, and they fit me perfect. So, just kind of plugging away on those when I had a spare minute and couldn't concentrate on that. Um, so that's it for works of progress. I'm sorry I'm yawning. It's I'm recording much later in the day. It's almost getting to be dinner time. And um, I was busy this weekend. I'll talk more about that in Slice of Life. Um, I do have some yarn and goodness. Um, I had ordered a bunch of yarn hollow when we did a yarn tasting with them at the knit shop. And the pattern that I got, I'm trying to think, recall what, Maxfield cardigan? So it's a chevron cardigan and you mix a variegated and a solid. I think it might be a Heather Zipetti pattern. Sounds right to me, but I know it's the Maxfield cardigan. Um, anyways, the sizing on it's weird. The sizing that it tells you for bust. Anyways, I didn't buy the pattern. I just looked at the yardage and the size that I needed and ordered the yarn and then ordered the pattern later. And I was, it was off. It was, I don't know, it was weird the way it was set up. I bought yarn for the size I thought I'd need to knit, but then when you actually get the pattern and you look at it, it, it doesn't, it, I don't know, it threw me off. So I needed one more skein of the solid and uh, the knit shop owner called Yarn Hollow. She special ordered me, dyed me up a skein. I had to pay shipping, which was like two something, just first class mail. Um... To get that knit up. So it is Yarn Hollows Tor DK, T O R DK. Um, it's in Betty Blue. It is um, four ounces, 260 yards of a DK, obviously. 100% um, superwash merino. So very nice. I really, really like this yarn. I really, really can't wait to knit with it. It's pretty close right there. Um, and I don't know what I'll knit with it, though. Because the sweaters I want to knit, I don't want to knit for the size I am right now. I need to drop just a little bit more of the weight that I've put on to get to where it needs to be. Because I want to be able to try it on as I go. And right now it would be a little snug. I'm not saying it wouldn't necessarily fit. It just would not be quite as flattering as I would like. Um, and then I also have a book review. Because that was my only yarn of goodness. Um... I did get a copy of Everyday Lace, and um, I've been wanting this for a while. Um, we got it into the knit shop, and I saw it, like, gosh, last spring, I'm so sorry for yawning, last spring, um, but the book wasn't available till the fall. I don't know. Anyways, there's one sweater in particular, I'm going to jump right to it, that I had to have this book for. And, of course, I didn't mark it, and I should have. Oh, here it is. So it is the Mannheim Fitted Pullover. 
And I love this spoiler. So it is a lace, I'm going to scoot up on my chair a little so I can get a little closer to you. It is a lace v-neck three-quarter sleeve sweater. And let's see. Try to get it to focus. And I love it. I love it in the orange. It's a very orange, orange, like a burnt orange. Very nice. I really like it. My, It's the whole reason I wanted to order the book. I think it's like the last pad in the book. But I also love um, the Ingleside cowl neck pullover. I thought this was really cute. I would never knit it in this color. But I love it. I love the detail at the neck and the cuffs. Super cute. I don't know. I think I want to, I would knit it in like, I don't know, pretty blue. Like a soft blue maybe. Or a soft teal. That's my second favorite one. Um, Then there's this cardigan, which is just okay. The neck is too low for me. It missed the mark on the neck. But I really like the yarn they used for that. There are socks. There's hats. So it's kind of variety of stuff. Cowl. Um, which is another one I really, really like. I don't know, the socks and stuff don't do anything for me. There is also this, it's like a tunic vest type thing. It's okay. I would be like on the fence about knitting it. But this, I do have to admit, I really like this. It's the Narvon wrap, N-A-R-V-O-N, Narvon, Nirvon. I really like it because it's kind of like a circular shawl and it just has holes in it for your arms to go in. So it's like a vest. I really like that one. I would never knit it in pink. Um, I don't know what I'd knit it in. A gray would be pretty because then you could wear colored tops underneath it. And then... really liked this one as well. There's a lot I really liked in that. I Pequea P P E Q U E A shell. I don't know. I think of it more as a. I mean, I guess it's a shell. I don't know. I would just think of it more of a tank myself. So it's kind of really plain in front, and then it has this lace detail on the back, and it's looking a little orange on the screen I see, but it's a real nice goldenrod yellow. I really like that one as well. So there's, you know, a handful of them that I like. Um, I, I went and knit the sock. There's socks. There's a beret. Kind of stuff like that. There's a little simple cowl. Um, I made it more for the garments, for the sweaters. Um, I'm trying to see if it says how many patterns are in here. 18 garments and accessories using lace motifs, panels, and edges. So it is Everyday Lace by Heather Zapetti. So... It's a name that you probably have heard before. Great patterns. Um, looks well written. Lots of really beautiful photographs. I wish I could show you more photographs, but they're in with the written patterns. Um, it shows a lot of details. It'll close up on details. I mean, just a really beautiful book. So I really recommend this one so far. Um, not having knit a pattern out of it yet, but when I do, you'll hear about that as well. But it retails for $24.99. It is from Interweave. So you can probably find it a little cheaper on Amazon. Maybe for like $18 or so. Maybe less. Um, and that's that. So that's actually the end of the knitting. It's going to be a short episode. I really just, whoo, crazy week. But we'll talk more about that. So if you leave me now, I see you next week because we're moving into a slice of life work. Oh my gosh, we are so short-handed right now at work. So I've been having to pick up some of the slack, which is fine. I don't mind. I mean, I have good work ethic. I don't mind working hard, but it really does cut into my day and it leaves me exhausted. Um, so when I do eight hour shifts, I'm on my feet for the whole eight hours, literally the whole eight hours, unless I take like a restroom break. Um, where I work, we don't get breaks. Like I don't get a lunch and 
some people are always like, oh my god, that's illegal. It's not. I'm over 18. It's not illegal. Um, but while I say I don't get a lunch or I don't get an actual break where I get to sit down, we get a standing lunch, I guess is what it's called. I don't know if I've talked about this before. But anyways, we can eat whenever we want as long as we have time to eat. Um, so we're kind of free to do that. And we get a snack all day. So I don't just get to sit down for, you know, 15, 20 minutes or a half hour and have lunch. And that's it. And I have to work the rest of the time. I mean, it's kind of like I can graze all day if I wanted to. So I can eat a lunch. I can, in the morning, I always go in. And at some point in the morning, I always find time to eat a banana, right? I stand there, eat a banana for a minute, go about my day. I take clementines and I peel my clementine, I eat it, go on with my day. I mean, so there is a lot of leisure in that. And sometimes I like it the way it is rather than being forced to take a half hour break. I don't know. Because I've had jobs like that where, I mean, I can't say I wasn't thankful for having the break, being able to sit down, eat my lunch. Because sometimes the way it is at work, I don't get to eat my lunch all at once. Sometimes I get to take a few bites and off I go and run past it, take a few bites when we're really busy. And it can be annoying. I won't deny it. But I also remember when I had a job and I was working eight hours. We had a mandatory 30-minute lunch. And there was kind of that groan of, oh, my lunch, my break is over and now I have to go back to work. Like, it's almost painful, right? Like, I really just don't want to go back to work right now. And I don't have time for that at my job. Like, it's like, okay, you just keep going. And the day goes really fast. I really don't have any complaints about it. Don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> um, like I said, there's a lot of perks to the job that I have, so that one downside doesn't cancel out the perks for me. So, like I said, I really don't mind it. Um, once in a while, like during the holidays when we were super busy and it would take me hours to get through my lunch, then there were times where I wish, I, yeah, I could take five or ten minutes, but I really don't want a half hour. Especially if you're not going to pay me for it. There's nothing worse I find than having a job and not getting paid for the lunch and being forced to take it. I'm like, I'd rather have my day over with a half hour early than you forcing me to take a lunch and not paying me for it and being there. But that's just me. Some people are like all about the lunch hour and the lunch break. Not me. I just want to get my job over with so I can go home. <laughs> Even on really great days, you know, you're always excited to go home, I think. So, um, but yeah, so with me working extra hours and then I'm squeezing a third day of yoga in because I was going twice a week. Now I'm doing three, um, and I need it. I'm trying to find myself again. I'm trying to get back in good habits. I had a really great late weight loss this week, but I can't say I didn't work for it because I worked for it so hard. I did three days of yoga. I went, um, I took Oliver on like a walk jog thing for 2.2 miles it's so funny when i took off her head i'm all hooked up he has a harness and he has on his leash and he was like walking me at first right like i was like taking everything i could to keep up with him because he wanted to run by the end of it he's like Ugh. i'm like come on over let's go we're almost come on we're almost done come on he's like oh, okay and he likes to walk with a big stick hanging out of his mouth it's the funniest thing um he, he, I don't know, he does better with a stick in his mouth when we go on walks. It's like a comfort thing or something. Um, but I'm trying to be good at work because it's so easy to snack on sweets, let's face it. Especially when we try new things and we're testing out stuff, you got to try it. Because if it's not good, we can't sell it. So um, I've just been diligent. I've been trying really hard. I've been eating better, um, eating more salads. I love salads, but sometimes I'm just like, I need something else. But I feel so good. I feel physically better, emotionally better, all that. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. I'm just like trying to keep my train of thought going. But I'm loving yoga. Like I said, I love it so much. I've, I've been getting up early Saturday mornings and um, going into town and, and doing it Sunday mornings. Because I always go... Tuesdays and Thursdays, so now I'm going Saturdays. And I was, like, looking. I'm like, I know they have morning classes. Maybe I can go before work. And they do have morning ones, but it's too early. If it was an hour later, I could go do yoga and still get to work on time and not have to waste time in between. But the way it works out, the one class that might work, there's an hour between when it lets out and 
well, an hour and a half, actually, an hour and a half between when it lets out and the time I have to clock in. And I'm like, okay, well, travel time would be like 10 to 15 minutes to get to work. I'm like, what am I going to do for the hour? I'm like, there's a Walmart. I can go walk around a Walmart. I really don't want to walk around Walmart for an hour just to kill time because I'd spend money. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing all that. Like I said, um, at the beginning of the episode, I went and had fun with my grandpa. Since he lost my grandma a year ago, you know, he's just had a hard time. So it was really fun to get out with him and we had a good time and he makes the funniest comments. Like some are totally, he has, let's, let's face it, he swears like a sailor. Um, he owns an auto body shop, so the guys all talk like that. But, so he, he says the best comments that I can't even repeat, and I love it. it. We had the best time. And what else have I been doing this week? So, and then just trying to find sleep, because I've been exhausted. <laughs> Thursday at yoga, I had a really long day at work. It was an eight-hour day, and just... Oh, I'm sorry. It was just physically demanding what I had to do, and... I was just exhausted. I'm like in yoga, just going, oh, please let this be over. I'm like stretching and doing all my down dogs. I'm like, just let this be over. I'm enjoying it, but I'm so tired. Just let it be over. <laughs> so, and then Oliver's been crazy with all his puppy hijinks. Still, he's still in that like chewing puppy phase. Like we cannot turn our back on him for too long where he's into something chewing it up. I'm like, oh, please let this be over sooner than later. <laughs> So, that too shall pass. And, and that's just it. I'm trying to find a new balance of doing everything. Because while I would like to knit every single chance I can, like I used to, I'm just like, there's so much out there. And I know, we're the knitting, and there is. Like I said, doing the yoga is great. Yesterday, I worked outside in the yard for hours, just cleaning out my flower beds, getting them ready, living in the country, especially in a very wooded area, I mean, it's impossible to keep all the leaves out of everything. I mean, there's no, there's no way. Literally, no way. I'd be raking constantly. So there were still lots of leaves I had to rake out of flower beds and under here and there. And trying to get the yard ready. And it just, it felt so good. It, it really just felt good to be outside. It felt good to get my hands a little dirty and to clean up the yard. It looks so much better. Like, immensely better. So, I want to do more outside this year. I really don't have a green thumb, but I want to try. I mean, right? That's what it's about. It's about trying. So, I just really want to become a more well-rounded person. So, we'll see. And I figure if I can bust butt now and kind of stay on the yard and keep things weeded and stuff, I can go outside and knit and spin and enjoy it more than looking around going, Oh, that needs weeded so bad. I wish I could grow a garden. I really want to try a little container garden, like a box thing, and see how I do. Because we've tried to plant like a garden before and it it's insane. I just I just don't have green thumb. I don't know enough about it, I think. But you learn as you go. So oh, this week is another really busy week. Really through the rest of the month I know we're gonna be busy. Um, I know management has hired some pe or interviewed some people, so hopefully we'll get someone hired so I can cut my hours back a little. I really wanted a part-time job, and it kind of became full-time, <laughs> but that's okay. I can't I can't complain about the money at all, right? Like it's been a huge help. We had to put tires on my car. Good lord, tires are so stinking expensive because I went with good ones, and um, but yeah. So glad to have a job at that point. <laughs> so, like I said, it's going to be another busy week. If I don't see you next weekend, I will definitely see you the weekend af after. So, we'll see where it takes us. So, I am Jenna, also known as Rachel Lemon. I am Rachel Lemon on Ravelry, Plurk, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Fitbit, and Weight Watchers. So, until next week, or possibly the week after, <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.